Hi, I'm Pastor Donna Wright with Be In Health and Hope of the Generations Church. Today I want to talk about a topic that is called the Eight R's to Freedom. Now, this is a short teaching uh, compared to the one that you would get at For My Life. Um, I wanted to start with, did you know that 80% of all disease is actually has a spiritually rooted issue? It's when we participate with sin. When we have a disease in our lives, we look everywhere, how do I, what do I do? How, what, what do I say? Where do I go? Well, we have to examine ourselves, whether or not perhaps maybe there's, we have some things in our lives that maybe is not of God. Well, what do you do after you realize that maybe I do have some things that are not of God? Because Isaiah 5.13 says, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. He's talking to God's people. They're not having any knowledge. Captivity is to be held captive against your will, imprisoned, and you know, it can even be disease. So with this teaching, I'm going to give you some steps, maybe how to decide, are you participating? And what are you participating with? At any time that you think, oh my goodness, I am thinking of something right now, just take the opportunity to go before God. So the first art of freedom is recognize. You have to recognize you have a problem or an issue. Recognizing those things in your lives that maybe God does not want you to have. Maybe it doesn't line up with his character. Maybe it's things that really become a burden to us. So the first R is to recognize. Number two, you gotta take responsibility. I did it. I'm the one. I, I participated with that sin. Take responsibility. Don't blame others. Don't try to justify. The third is repent. After I have seen that I have had a sin, I took responsibility. Now I have to repent. Now I want to make sure you understand something. Repent is not saying, I'm sorry, God. No. Sorry is just sorrow. Sometimes so sorrow because I got caught or, yeah, I did it. No, repentance is actually going one direction and turning another. It absolutely is that I'm going to change my life. So I repent, God, for that sin that I participated with. The next thing we do is we renounce it. We say, I don't want this in my life ever again. I don't ever want to go back to that. I don't ever want to become part of that. I want to, I want to deal with it, take it captive, throw it down. I don't want any part of it. The next one is the one that everybody wants to go to first, but it really is not the first one. It's the fifth one, is to remove. That means I get it out of my life. I, I cast it away from me. I, I ask God to make me a new heart, but I remove it. The, the R is about removing the sin. It's about removing the addiction, about the bitterness, removing it, the rejection, whatever it may be, you remove it and get it out of your life. The sixth one is resist. We learn in James 4, 7 to submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee. Resist the devil and he will flee. We are taking a stand against that way of thinking, speaking or acting that does not line up with God. Resisting is, is such a big deal. That is, you really have to learn how to resist. You know, we don't have to go into temptations. We don't have to go, give into bitterness. We don't have to fall back into addictions. We don't have to do that. Just because that was once us, it doesn't have to be us again. Your ability to defeat Satan is in direct proportion to your obedience to God. It comes down to obeying the Father. That's got to be your heart. You've got to want to do that. Matthew 6, gives us the order, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. All these things are in direct relationship with your God the Father, with your Father, with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, our seth, seventh is a good one. I love this one. Rejoice! I mean, you've just been through all of this stuff. Now you're like, wow, and you're going to feel it in your heart too. You rejoice, giving our Father thanks, glorifying in Him. 
Thanks for the knowledge of what to do with all this stuff. Thanks for the freedom we now have and after taking responsibility and repenting. And thanks for the love that he has for us. We have a lot to be thanks for. We have a lot, lot to be grateful for. We have a lot to, to give thanksgiving for. Rejoicing is one of my favorites. Then the last R is to restore. You know, when you have been given so very much, I mean, you just can't help but want to give it away. I mean, you want to see other people in your life free. You want to, you want to get involved and say, hey, you, you know, you can be free of this. Maybe it's restoring relationships. Maybe it's, um, you know, restoring, you know, things that you were never able to do because you were in sin before. Maybe you're healthy now. Anyway, but it's restore. King David, after he took responsibility and repented, said this in Psalms 51, 13. Then will I teach transgressors the ways and sinners shall be converted. That should be your heart too. We have a responsibility to give away, the passing on, if you will, of what we have learned to someone else. I hope this is blessed you. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, or hit the bell, or subscribe. And please leave us a comment.